Hi guys, uh, Daz from Race Centre here. Um, we've got an RC390 here and I thought I'd do a little video on it because it's a little bit of an interesting one. Um, the customer brought the bike in because it's uh, new and they're turning it into a track bike. Um, and he noticed that when he had it on a stand and going through the gears, he could hear a whining. Um, for starters, the whining wasn't that bad. Like he thought it was a problem. He just wanted to second uh, a second opinion. So firstly, the whining wasn't that bad. It was a little bit more than normal, um, but it was actually due to being uh, being a bit louder. It was just due to the chain being too tight. Um, and we've adjusted it and you might think well that's a silly thing but uh where the bike was previously they've actually um adjusted the chain as per the manufacturer's recommendations and where that becomes a problem on bikes like a ktm and there's a, you know every manufacturer has you know not every but some had different ways to do the chain slack and so we thought we'd do a video because you can get um caught out by it so in this particular case this uh and ktm do this is they want you to measure the distance between um the bottom of the swing arm at a specific point and to the chain now and they give you like in this particular case it's five to seven millimeters uh, it needs to be the distance and that's how you adjust it that's all well and good until you change the rear sprocket this being a track bike it has a much bigger rear sprocket on the back and that means that the point here is much lower. So if you're measuring off the base of the swing arm to the chain, and then you put a much bigger sprocket and lower that, that measurement, how the, uh, how the manufacturer wants you to check it, is no longer valid and it's wrong. So whoever had adjusted previously had adjusted it to that, and it was so tight, it was crazy. So um, just as a rule of thumb, uh, there's always a little bit of variance in it, but your chain slack, if you're going from all the way up to all the way down, like measuring that, should be uh, between, you know, 35 and uh, 45 mil. Um, if it's any more, you make it a bit tighter. If it's any less, you loosen it off a little bit. You know, if your chain was 20, had only had 25 mil, um, that'd be okay too. But you certainly don't want your chain to be like a guitar string. And that's what this one was. So um, you can see how this happened. And really, it's a, just a bit of a, it's a, it works in the standard trim, but as soon as you start changing sprockets, any um, procedure that gives you a reference point like this, you can't use it. You have to actually use how much slack you've got in it in the middle, in the midpoint. So we'll do another video later on about how to adjust your chain and do your wheel alignment properly. But just thought we'd do something because it's a bit of an odd one. Anyway, thanks for watching.